Okay, welcome to Craft Nomad. This is a podcast about one person's view of traditional crafts, travel, and nomadic adventures. Uh, Today, I'm going to talk about why I've been on hiatus for so long, um, what I've been doing, and also what a couple of happenings that uh, have been going on in Chiang Mai since my last podcast. So let's just get right to it. So it's been about six months since I did a podcast, and I have some very good reasons for that. The first one is a big one. I completed my novel, Woman on the Road. It's now available as a digital and as a print copy. And you can get it on Amazon. It will not come up on the first page because of the way Amazon analytics work. Even though there's not another book with that exact name, um, I just won't go into it. If you've been dealing with Amazon as a uh, an author you know all the the issues with that but I anyway go to the second page or just type it in type in my name and you'll find woman on the road so that in itself was enough to take a six-month hiatus however um, I did have other related things that I needed to learn um, involved with getting the book published. Compared to writing the book, publishing was much more complex. Um, I needed to create an author website. Um, I've done some updating on the Craft Nomad website, which is going to be continued. Um, I had to learn manuscript formatting and if you are writing a novel at this time and haven't done it before I would suggest to you that um, before you complete your work take a break um, pull out a chapter or two and play around with manuscript formatting looking at um, books that you have that you like the layout for doing a little research and then try it out because it's much more complicated than just doing a normal um, Word document and you'll need to know that whether you decide to do the formatting yourself or hire someone you'll need to know how the manuscript formatting works and doing that practice will help you decide whether or not you want to do it yourself if it comes pretty easily for you then you might want to do it yourself Um, If not, it's really well worth it to pay someone else because for a document that long, one error can throw your pages off for the entire rest of the novel and you don't want that. You're going to have probably some um, revisions that you have to do anyway. Um, I had three or four... um, revisions on just on the text itself before the formatting was done. I also had to learn how to do cover designs. So that's another thing where you have to consider do you want to have someone else do it or do you want to do it on your own? Um, I did initially think that I wanted somebody else to do it but actually I didn't get the kind of results that I wanted and so I on my own cover and I'm getting pretty good reactions to it so far so we'll see if it helps with getting those clicks and getting people to um, click through read about the the book in the intro and hopefully do that final click to order the book please do take a look at it and um, I hope that you'll be interested um, the other two things that I had to learn were video editing because um, the main reason the hiatus started was that um, I had to change from Mac to PC and PCs don't come with any editing uh, software these days so 
I had to try out two or three of them and I'm still learning to use uh, the product that I chose. I'm also learning vector-based drawing. I did take an Adobe Illustrator class some years ago, but I didn't, I haven't done it for, for quite a while. So um, that's another learning curve. So I hope that you can understand and empathize here we go it's called woman on the road it is a true road trip I drove cross-country on my own three times by car okay so Jack Kerouac no misogyny uh, I also did train travel three times and then um, I ended up in San Francisco and the latter part of the book is about all my adventures in San Francisco. The plot of the story really, the, the road trip guides it, but it's about the people that I met along the way, the experiences that I had, both happy experiences and sad experiences, and just all of the amazing people. I mean, there were robbers and homeless people and hell's angels and just nice people who stopped and helped me on the road and, you know, people can be amazing. They will help you for, for no reason, just that they're nice people. And there's not enough of that sometimes in, uh, in all of the stories that we read. So I think it's a good balance of funny stories, sad stories, scary stories, um, but I believe in something that was said by an author that I admire named Lauren Isley, and he said that a biography should be about all the strange things because if you write about the everyday things then you don't have a story right so he wrote a biography called all the strange hours and he's been an inspiration to me as a writer because he acknowledges that this is what we have to focus on so I hope you'll give it a look it's on Amazon and uh, you'll find it under woman on the road author Joy Harmon. My author website is Joy Harmon Author because apparently there are a number of people with that same last name. It's uh, currently it's an HTTP website and I'm going to leave it like that while I get a little feedback from you and uh, other people who may purchase the book and go to the author website. Uh, to find out, you know, what kind of things you really expect on uh, an author website and really make it something that where you get what you need from the author in order to give you an idea whether you want to read the work of that person. That's really the purpose of an author website. Uh, so please do comment comment on the podcast, po comment on the book. If you read the book, please do um, review it on Amazon. Uh, Goodreads is also a wonderful place to do um, a review. And there are several others. I'll try in future podcasts to um, leave a list of those or probably uh, more on the author website but these are really essential for uh, other re readers to get more information about the book and for me as an author to find out if I'm giving you what you need. So, um, you know, I need to know about the author website. Uh, so please let me know the things that, that um, you would expect to see there that maybe I have left out. Please do not ask for personal information that involves that might involve me talking about other people um, 
there were of course parts of the book that I had to leave out because when you write that kind of book you can't you don't want to do anything that really um, would hurt other people so uh, if you ask about anything that's really too personal I'll just kind of ignore it so just understand if if it's a question that's that's uh, too personal that's why it's I understand the curiosity but uh, we I really want to focus on uh, what does a reader need in order to to know whether that's an author that they're interested in I know myself as a reader it's very important to me to um, have an interest in that first book and sometimes I know right away I'm going to want to read more from that author sometimes I want to know more about the author and then between those two things I figure out if this is an author that I'm going to continue to read and there have been several authors where I just within one or two books I knew that I was always going to read everything that they wrote uh, so feedback please okay on with the uh, information that I wanted to get through in this podcast uh, the Chiang Mai flower show happened during this time when we were off and it's the last thing that I did a lot of photos from and did a little bit of video so what I will do is post the the pictures I did a podcast about the flower show last year that had a complete video so um, you can take a look at that to get an idea you know what is it about the flower show in Chiang Mai because it's really a big event um, I have pictures of the flowers of course but the important thing about this year is I was able to go to the parade and that is a really big event as well and if you've never uh, seen a parade in Thailand it it will be very interesting for you to see um, all of the people and the costumes and the flowered floats so uh, that's going to be included in this um, textiles of Thailand as you know I'm interested in crafts particular particularly fiber art um, crafts and there is a woman who is an expert in textiles in Thai textiles and she is offering a class this year for the first time we have a full class and so I am taking a, a textile class called textiles of Thailand and uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to do any details about that course on future podcasts but if you're interested you can comment um, on the website particularly and let me know if if you want to know more about the course I imagine she will offer it again next year and she sometimes does tours as well so um, that's uh, something that I've been doing and it, that's actually still going on right now um, I also uh, was in two plays in our local English language theater which is known as the Gate Theater and I was a director's assistant on one of the main stage shows uh, this last season and I have just recently become a member of the advisory board for the theater so I'm kind of excited about that and there will be more news about the theater because uh, it's one of my main activities outside of podcasting and writing and still doing a little bit of crafting here and there I'm also planning an audio podcast that will go with um, 
the theater's website, but we'll see how that goes. I'll tell you more about that as it goes along. So that's all the news. I hope you're enjoying the pictures, that, the slides that I've put up to go with this podcast. Um, I just felt it was better to do it this way this time. From now on, I will only do a video podcast if it's an event and that I can get some good video because I'm finding that I'm more of a voice person and um, actually the podcasts that I watch, the video podcasts that are my favorites, all have partners. I think that just works so much better. So uh, for me personally, I think I'm going to make this as uh, mainly an audio podcast with illustrations, with photos. So comment on that as well. Let me know how that works for you. And for now, I will say a farewell. And just to let you know, as we're closing, Craft Nomad is solely uh, produced by myself, Joy Harmon. I do not currently have sponsors or website membership. This may be a possibility in the future, but at this time, it's all for you and all free for your enjoyment. So, please comment, listen in, follow, comment, and give me lots of feedback because otherwise, without you, I'm just a crazy lady talking to myself. So, save my sanity. Follow me on YouTube and the website. Comment on YouTube and the website. And thank you so much for tuning in because you're the reason I'm here. Bye-bye.